Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and I am here today to review the new Raise 3D N2 Plus 3D printer. Bottom line on this printer, I got it yesterday. I had it up and running in a half an hour and initial response, two thumbs up. Okay, now let me give you a little background. First of all, I am not a 3D printer guru. I'm kind of a high-tech guru. I'm into all the latest technologies from unmanned aerial drones, Raspberry Pis, Arduinos, you name it. I'm kind of a maker and a builder. And so I'm not coming at this from the perspective of trying to talk to real 3D printer experts. I'm talking to people like myself who are sort of thinking about getting into 3D printing and wondering, is the technology really ready for prime time. I've worked with 3D printers really for the last uh, 30 years or so. I can remember when I was at the National Laboratories and we were doing product development there that uh, to do rapid prototyping there were some 3D printers. We had those things worth hundreds of thousands of dollars and very very complex machines and so I was really excited in the last few years when it looked like the opportunity came up where you could have that type of technology at home for the sort of several thousand price tag. So given my history with 3D printers, I was excited to try some uh, uh, some uh, consumer level units. Had some really bad luck initially in getting a reliable 3D uh, uh, printer platform, but I'm happy to say that I really think that these guys from Raise 3 d have nailed it. So what do I like about this printer? Well, first of all, when it came, it was extremely professionally packaged and crated. Okay, this is a massive printer. Let me uh, stand up beside it. This is sitting on the floor in ca on casters. You can see that this, this thing comes up well above my waist. This is a massive printer. And what that means is, is it means that you can print very, very large devices. So you're not limited to little, uh, little playthings. You can really print very 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 large uh, large things and so I like the large print volume but because this thing is so big that means that shipping is a challenge and so I can say that it was extremely professionally crated it came in very very secure in its crate and uh, it was very uh, very secure and so very impressed with the uh, boxing that they did. I do recommend if you get one of these to look at the Raise 3D short video on how to unbox it because it's not so much that you take it out of the box it's kind of like you peel the box off of it. So you've got the outside box then you've got some styrofoam then you've got some other types of uh, uh, protection on it and so you sort of just take the packaging off of it and the video really shows how to do that very uh, very nice Nicely. Other thing that was really nice about this is I would say pretty much uh, completely there was no assembly required. It came already all put together and ready to run. Uh, I had it up and booted and starting a print in about 30 minutes, maybe between 30 minutes and an hour to actually get the thing turned on and printing. And so that is how easy it was to get going. So what do I like about it? It's very elegant, man. You know how, like, if you get an Apple product, you know how Apple products are very elegant in all the little design details? That's what this printer reminds me of. It reminds me of an Apple device. It's very structurally sound. It's a very elegant machine. It's very, very well thought out. It's very sturdy. It just has that look and feel of a well-engineered piece of equipment. I started doing test prints almost immediately and the thing just came out of the box with the standard settings working. I was eager to try things so I did a few of these little uh, you know little toy things like this and a nut and bolt and those things just printed right out. Then I started printing bigger and more complicated things and those were working great. You can see now that I've got a vase that is going and I'm printing the vase and even though it's not finished when I look in there I am just really impressed with the print quality. I'm not even seeing any of the seams between the layers and so it's sort of like they got the technology to the point that if you didn't know something was 3D printed you might not be able to just guess it by looking at the part and so extremely extremely high resolution. I had no problem getting the print to stick to the build plate. I didn't build rafts or anything I just did a straight 
print on the build plate and it's just working great. I like how they've done the build plate. It's like a piece of glass that's very flat, so that's good. You want a piece, a flat piece of glass, but then it has this kind of matte on top of it and the matte I'm sure they very carefully engineered to get the prints to stick to it so for comparing this to some of my earlier 3d uh, printers it seems like they've really resolved this issue of getting things to stick to the uh, uh, to the mat uh, to the mat well other thing that I like is man is this thing sturdy I don't know if you can see let me see if I can point it out here let's see I'm gonna have to move this look at those uh, vertical axis uh, vertical axis threaded rods those things are like a half inch and it looks like that they were custom designed it looks like they were custom designed to uh, have both sturdiness and precision and some of the earlier printers I had it was more like they had just gone to Home Depot and got some uh, off-the-shelf threaded rods and so I was just really impressed with the sturdiness of the uh, z-axis also as you watch this thing you can see that it's just silky smooth operation there's no binding or jerking it's just a silky smooth operation the smoothest 3d printer uh, mechanism that I've ever uh, I've ever had and then what you will also uh, what you will also see is is that it's very quiet that I I'm just sitting here just a few inches from this thing and you can hardly hear it running. So very quiet, silky smooth, sticking to the build plate, simple to set up, just got everything going for it. Okay, so a little bit about what my interest in 3D printing is and why I was interested in getting a 3D printer. Uh, I teach engineering in high school. I teach four engineering classes, engineering one, two, three, four. And I was very interested in, while we do a whole lot of stuff with Arduinos and Raspberry Pis and drones and a lot of things that are electronically based, I wanted to start introducing a little bit more mechanical engineering into the curriculum and so the problem is is that if you start trying to teach AutoCAD it's very complex and it's not very satisfying for students because they draw something they draw something else they design something they design something else and as a high school you don't have tens of thousands of dollars to go to a machine shop and have those designs built and so it was an exercise in drawing and so it didn't really stimulate the kids what I was interested in a 3d printer is is that with a 3d printer you could design something and then you could build it and then all of a sudden the excitement goes and we could start building components for our drones or building components for our space program and so that's why I was interested in it several years ago we got a maker bot and it was just an absolute disaster from day one not ready for prime time broke our heart in fact I'm fearful that there's like a generation of students who did not become engineers because of the difficulties that we had with the maker bot but everything I've seen about this has been very impressive and again I'm not going to be nitpicking about whether there's a printer out there that might have some ultimate feature better than this one but what I'm saying about about the raise 3d is is that it is at a suitable level of maturity that I feel like it can be effectively incorporated into a high school curriculum it comes out of the box ready to print I've had really good luck with with finding a very strong community user base and so there's a lot of forums out there with a lot of people using this printer and so you've got sort of a, a community of users that you can draw on everything I've seen and 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 experienced as far as the uh, raise 3d customer support it's been great and they have a great reputation very impressed with the printer and so I'm going to give this a thumbs up and I will be doing more detailed reviews and more detailed tutorials in the future. But for now, I'm just going to say it's a great printer. Massive print volume, very, very precise prints. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm just impressed with everything, uh, everything about it at this point. OK. 3D, uh, Raise 3DR, if you're watching, you did a great job. Got a few little suggestions few little suggestions a few little nitpicks if you might say the first is is that I was impressed with how easy this thing is to get up and running and printing but man it would have been nice if on the printer itself in the internal memory if you would have had some already sliced little 
little demo uh, prints that you could just kind of turn the thing on without even connecting to a computer and just hit print and print out like a little you know a, a little demo thing because you're so excited to get the printer uh, it would have been nice to include some demo prints that you could kind of get a very early and quick look at the thing uh, at the thing working and so that would be easy to do I just suggest that you guys do that because you know you're very excited when you get this thing in and you want to as quickly as possible see it uh, see it printing something okay I'll commend you guys on on your unboxing video I found was very helpful and by watching the unboxing video man I had the thing up and running in no time that was good job what I will say though is is that you kind of need something you've got your quick start guide and your unboxing video and then you've got your support forum where there's hundreds of different categories and all these different things you need something in between those two and basically you need something a little bit more like a user manual because in putting it together there were a couple of things I was unsure on and when I couldn't answer it in the quick start guide then going to the forums it was like kind of a, a hard thing to uh, dig through and find the answer to my problem this is just a little bit of a nitpick but in your quick start guide it was really unclear what you were talking about about homing the X Y and Z axis exactly what you meant like you know what did you mean by homing well now I know what you do is you just hit the home button and it finds the home you don't have to adjust it in the X and Y it just finds it but the instructions on the Z was 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 really confusing and I had trouble sorting through that I'll try to make a video here pretty uh, pretty soon about exactly what you mean by uh, homing the Z axis we're not leveling the build plate we're just trying to set the the home position on the Z axis found that a little bit confusing Man, and if you guys would just put together a little bit of a wiki or a little bit of a manual that would have more information than your quick start guide so that it would give you a first place to look when you need, need to dig in a little bit uh, a little bit deeper okay so two simple suggestions was include some test prints ready to print right on the machine second thing give us a little bit more of a manual or a wiki to go through that has a little bit more details than the uh, quick start guide third thing is this is a pricey uh a pricey uh, printer I think the one we got the one with all the bells and whistles it's the large one it's the um, one with all the bells and whistles and I think we were getting pretty close to four thousand dollars there's something probably uh, more in the two to three thousand dollar range if you get the the, the smaller unit uh, but what I'll say as far as the price goes uh, yeah when you buy the fully decked out one it's a little bit on the pricey side but with my experience on other things there is nothing more expensive than a cheap 3d printer okay because when we got that maker bot oh my goodness how many hundreds if not thousands of dollars we spent on filament for prints that failed in the middle and upgrading this and upgrading that and getting this and getting that trying to get the thing to work and then just the hours of instruction time lost on it and so yeah this is kind of a, a little bit of a steep price tag but uh, as far as being an educator I think that it's worth every uh, every cent of it uh, let me uh, just show you a little bit here the other thing is the control software I've talked about the printer let's talk about the software that comes with it uh, I'm going to a screenshot now of my com I'm going to a screenshot now of my computer and it's just the control software is just very elegantly integrated with the printer it just took me a couple of minutes to get it installed and up and running and what I really like about it it is sitting here at my computer I was able to hook to the printer wirelessly just took me a couple of minutes to get the computer and printer to talk together wirelessly and then what I get is I get this really nice uh, I get this really nice uh, dashboard here that shows me everything that's going on with the printer you can see the uh, design that I'm printing out you can see in red how much I've printed how much I've printed and how much more I have to go you can see that this print has 10 hours and 46 minutes left in the print it's showing me the nozzle te temperature it's showing me the heat bed temperature it's showing me all the details of my print and that is really slick this thing is so slick that uh, I started this print yesterday and the printer was sitting across the room I was actually able to come in and hit the pause button pause the print unplug the printer move it across the room plug the printer black back in boot it back up 
and then hit resume and it just started right where it had left off and so that is just a really really slick cool uh, cool feature so guys I am really impressed with the raised 3d uh, printers again even if you don't get this fully featured one the thing that I've seen is is that these guys know how to make a product they know how to make something that really works and I am really really impressed and a lot of the same technology is in some of their smaller and less expensive printers and so it's really good let me say one other thing. I think that if I understand right that the Raise 3D really got started as a Kickstarter uh, project and I'm really impressed. I have had less than great results in a lot of the Kickstarter campaigns. People have good ideas and, and, and they kind of release things before they're really ready for prime time but not so with Raise 3D. They have a really really completely solid product here. Very impressed with it. If you guys are thinking about 3D printing I recommend that you look into raise 3d really really happy with it again this is paul mcquarter toptechboy.com if you guys like my reviews think about giving me a thumbs up think about subscribing to the channel or sharing this video with others if you have comments i would love to hear your comments below if you've had uh, experience with this printer or other printers would love to hear your comments below again this is paul mcquarter with toptechboy.com i will look forward to talking to you guys later